All right, guys, just give me an update on the Monster Garage. Uh, I think I showed you guys this before, but now that we have all of our power hooked up, all right, we have a fan that works. And this is gonna be the paint room for a little stuff. And of course, I've got the upstairs. This is uh, uh, the men's bathroom. Of course, it gets dirty real quick. But uh, we still gotta fix all that. And as you can tell, I've been painting all day. Um, I'm nasty. <laughs> And uh, we've got our water fountain here, but it's not hooked up yet. And we got the men's bathroom. Uh, still got to get some lights for that. You know, get the overhead lights put in. I need three in here. But uh, yeah, just don't need that many bathrooms. But this is the back, of course. Can't see that because none of the lights work back here because they're all, all the lights are pretty much gone. I got a handful of them that's pretty cool. All these, I uh, need three of them in here. It's still bright, but it still needs three. And I'll show you. So we're still waiting on the, the roofers come back. We've had several leaks, so they're gonna come back and fix that Monday. Like I said in the uh, first video, this is going to be the nut and bolt bin area, I believe. Unless we decide to do something else, I'm not sure. But uh, we're putting nuts and bolts and stuff in here. And I need a light over there. And what I'm so dirty about today is we've been painting. So this is the, what the ceiling looks like before and this is what it looks like now flat black so we went through and painted everything flat black looks pretty good and i think we're going to take this wall section out too to bring it down to brick and this is the brick it's been painted i uh, ran out of paint this is five gallon on that so far So I need to finish that, but I kind of want to finish that ceiling down there first. And I need some new windows, which I'll be cutting those sometime, maybe Sunday or, or next week. It all depends. But all this still needs, I need to take these two pipes out and uh, all that's gonna be painted black. And as soon as they get the water stopped back here, all this ceiling's gonna be painted black as well. And with this brickwork here, uh, now that's real brick. I don't know why it's there or what the purpose of it was, but I'm thinking about maybe, instead of painting this brick back here, it's getting some Lowe's brick, that red brick paneling and putting up back here. And this can be like a little display area of some sort, I'm not sure yet. Providing we can keep it from leaking. Thank God we got drains in the floor so the water can go out. Got two there, got two up there, and got a couple in that kitchen. But that's kind of the gist of it right now. Just kind of keep you all updated of the work, the Monster Garage progress. All right, guys, we hope you enjoy this little snippet of the Monster Garage refurb or rehab or whatever you want to call it. Uh, plus, it's going to be storage and some other stuff as well. But uh, stick around, and I'll keep you updated on the Monster Garage and what we did. Now, I am thinking about around this white wall because it is super white. Is I'm thinking about making a maybe an orange line going around or a purple line or something to kind of go with the 
Halloween ordeal and make it look cool anyway. Uh, just a thought, but anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go check out my trio brothers as David the Weird Kid Show and Keith and Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Keep it creepy.